Did you know that in Cyberpunk 2077, you can find a button that, when pressed, will turn off all of the streetlights in Night City? Hello and welcome back to another episode of Video Game Easter Eggs, the series where we cover some of the best easter eggs found in video games. As always, if you think you know of a video game easter egg that I'm yet to cover, then let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to check it out. Oh, and don't forget to leave a like on this video, and if you do, I'll send you a puppy. Anyway, without further delay, let's get started. Right, let's begin with Rainbow Six Siege. Siege has been around for what feels like years, and well that's because it has, but Ubisoft still continues to support the tactical first person shooter. That support includes the latest in-game event, Mute Protocol. This limited time event takes place on a modified version of the tower map, where each kill grants you a weapon upgrade. Be the first player to reach the last upgrade and win the game for your team. When you begin a round on Mute Protocol, an AI voice will announce your arrival, and it's in these intros you can find a couple of references. First up is this. Call a medic, but not for me. So the intro of Call a medic, but not for me is a reference to this meme. Hey, old man, give me everything. Oh, oh, call an ambulance, call an ambulance, but not for me. Now, the other intro that I think could be a reference is admittedly debatable. Take a listen and tell me what you think. If you don't evolve, you'll die here. So what do you think? When I first heard this intro, I immediately thought of the first Resident Evil movie, and this scene in particular. You're all going to die down here. I know it's a bit of a stretch, but the way that AI says you'll die here reminded me of the movie, so I'm interested to know what you think. Up next is the Easter egg field postal brain damage. We originally covered this postal spin-off in episode 64 of this series, where we found out where Lady Dimitrescu from Resident Evil Village keeps her toys. Since then, we've slowly been chipping away at all of the easter eggs Brain Damage has to offer, with today's postal easter egg being another reference to a video game. In one of the houses, you can find this. So these not-so-alive people who have been impaled by green diamonds are a reference to The Sims. In The Sims, characters have a green diamond above their head, though in Postal, that same diamond seems to have been the reason these unfortunate people are no longer alive. If you head to the backyard, you'll find people who seem to have died in a pool. Looking at the pool, you may notice that there are no steps, meaning that these people died, presumably because they couldn't leave the pool. This was a popular way to kill your sims in the various sims games. Now, this next game is labelled as a relaxing game to chill out with, but the idea of unpacking anything makes me very stressed. Unpacking is apparently a zen puzzle game where you learn about someone by unpacking their belongings each time they move house. Like I said, some may find this sort of thing relaxing. To me, working out where the spare duvets are supposed to be kept is my idea of hell. Anyway, it's not only boring household items that you have to find a home for. It seems that the person we're unpacking for is a video game fan. There are four games in total, with some of the box arts being immediately recognisable. How recognisable? Well, I want to put that to the test. I challenge you to name the four games you see here. Two of them are pretty easy, the other two, not so much. Leave your answers in the comments and I'll make a community post in a couple of days with the right answer, as well as listing all the people that got it right. Good luck. So recently, I made a video featuring some of the best easter eggs from every Gears of War game. And despite that video performing about as well as your mum, I decided to see what else I could find in Gears 5. First up is an easter egg that can be found in the campaign. During Act 2, Chapter 1, Kate and Dell attempt to convince a village of outsiders to join the fight. Well, if you give off serious main character vibes and decide to stare longingly at the ice, eventually this will happen. You know you're not her type, right? Next up on the multiplayer map Mercy, if you shoot the organ horns in the order that I do, this will happen.
So the song that plays after shooting the organ is the main theme from Gears of War 1. Up next is one of my favourite games of 2020. Not only is Ghost Runner full of easter eggs, but it's also an excellent game to play. Now, when it came to recording easter eggs in Ghost Runner, I'm not going to pretend it was easy. The game is incredibly hard, meaning that trying to reach a certain level to record an easter egg can be a frustrating experience. So I hope you appreciate my dedication to reach the penultimate level in the game just to record what is essentially a simple movie reference. At the beginning of the summit level, you can find this. So this is of course a facehugger from the Alien franchise. I mean it probably wasn't worth the countless deaths it took me to get here, but what can you do? Now when it comes to Halo games, Halo 4 is arguably the most disliked in the entire franchise. It was the first original title in the Halo series to not be developed by Bungie, with 343 Industries taking the wheel instead. Wanting to put their own mark on the franchise, 343 changed a lot of what made Halo, Halo. Multiplayer now had perks, loadouts and killstreaks, stylistically the game looked very different compared to previous entries in the series, and perhaps most importantly, it wasn't developed by Bungie. Anyway, the easter egg from Halo 4 features a celebrity cameo. During the shutdown level, you can find two marines guarding crates. If you wait long enough, this will happen. This is a pretty sweet union we're in. That's fantastic. Stand near the crates, but don't ever move them. Right. Right. But if anybody even looks at the crates, that's a violation. Oh, yeah. Don't you think rugs would warm this up a little bit? Absolutely. Absolutely. Just like, literally, I'm not talking wall to wall, but like five area rugs. Mm-hmm or some oriental rugs, and you know what? Suddenly it's a whole different vibe in here. Right. I think such a thing. What? I think there's gonna be a war with an alien they awoke from an ancient slumber. Oh, that, what? that is stupid. I know. I mean, I don't know much. I mostly just load crates, but that is stupid. You know what? There's one thing my grandpa told me. Never awaken an alien from an ancient slumber. So these two chatty marines are voiced by none other than Conan O'Brien and Andy Richter. So the final easter egg for today's video is perhaps the most debatable easter egg I've ever shared. Some of my favourite missions in 2019's Call of Duty Modern Warfare were the Breach and Clear missions. Having to sneak into an enclosed environment and clear out rooms full of enemies was awesome. One such level is the Clean House mission. During this mission you have to clear out a house in London that is home to terrorists. Well, it was when playing this mission that I found a potential easter egg. In the first room you enter, you can find this. Secure. Alpha 3. Entry to the front door. Right, I'm not going to say a word. I want you to tell me if you think that this person reminds you of anyone, particularly the outfit they're wearing. Well, to me, this person's outfit is almost identical to that of Nathan Drake from the Uncharted series. Not only is he wearing a similar gun holster to Nathan Drake, but he also wears a ring around his neck, just like Drake does. I mean, facially, it's definitely not a match, but the outfit is so on point that I had to share it and get your opinions. It's also worth mentioning that this person doesn't spawn every time. It seems that each time you restart the level, a new character is put in his place. So what do you think? Intentional reference or not? Let me know in the comments. So that's it. If you enjoyed this video, then leaving a like is really appreciated. If you are a fan of Easter eggs and secrets in games, then perhaps consider subscribing as that's what this channel is all about. As always, thank you all for watching and I'll speak to you all soon.